okay then so good morning uh, sorry good afternoon students once again so yesterday we were discussing about the eye reflexes that is photo pupillary reflex and the accommodation pupillary reflex let us just uh, revise once again na? so in the eye reflex uh, you will find the photo pupillary reflex what happens here in the photo pupillary reflex the pupils it will get constricted means it will become smaller in size all right and this uh, this thing i mean how does it help that is the pupil uh, the pupil contraction they helps us so that uh, it won't get affected i mean your eyes it won't get affected so that uh, it won't hamper or else it won't damage the bright light which uh, which is reflecting towards your eyes is it clear about the photopupillary reflex yes okay, and in this yes. dim light what yes. will happen uh, in this dim light what will happen the pupil it will dilate means it will become uh, larger in size it will expand all right it will expand the in the bright light the pupil it will become small and in the this one the dim light the pupil they become uh, larger in size or else you can say they expand okay okay so in the accommodation pupillary reflex uh, you will find that same thing here also the pupils it will get constrict it will become small but in this what will happen uh, in the accommodation pupillary, pupillary reflex uh, the person uh, means adjust in such a way that like uh, he or she will be able to see the things uh, which is far away from him or her means the distance no? they will constrict their pupil in such a way that it will be visible to that person so that it will be more clearer the view okay are you clear till here everyone yes ma'am okay. okay next is ear we are done with the eyes so now we will discuss about the ear can so the ear ear it helps in what the ear it helps us in hearing as well as balancing it's not it like whatever you hear whatever you hear a sound a voice anything music uh, somebody speaking means anything so uh, it it not only helps you in hearing but also it uh, it maintains the the sound effect i mean they balance it understand means whatever sound is coming towards uh, i mean inside inside it no? so they balance it so these are the this is the i mean the the common thing which your ear does okay so now let's see hearing hearing is hearing or uh, audition is the sense of sound perception means from from this line itself also you can just know like it percepts sound means it uh, gives sound i mean with the help of your ears that like you are able to hear it means that it is a part of the sense organs or else the sensory system so let us see about the anatomy of the ear so in the anatomy of the ear what will you find you will find that they are divided into uh, three areas all right three areas so what are those the outer ear or else you can say the external ear next is the middle ear this one and the third is the internal ear or the inner ear is it clear means three areas they are divided i'll repeat again first is the external ear or the outer ear the second is the middle ear and the third is the inner ear or else you can say the internal ear is it clear mm -hmm. huh. yes ma'am Okay, so now let us discuss about the external one or else you can say the outer the outer ear no? so the intern uh, sorry the external or the outer ear it is composed of what I, I mean what it is there it is external acoustic meters is there this one external acoustic meters it's there inside this uh, external outer ear is it clear and oracle is also there so this is the oracle this one can you see it yes, okay. yes, let's move to the next now if it is clear then 
Okay, so next is external acoustic meters. So let us discuss about this in brief. What is this? So this is the external acoustic meters. So the external acoustic meters, it is what it is short. I mean, uh, they seem or else or else you can say they appear to be short, and they are near narrow chamber. Narrow means what? Narrow means narrow means is a very common word. Narrow means resume, ma'am. Uh -huh. uh, what did you say? Closer, ma'am. Closer. Closer. Are you sure? Yeah. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. okay. Anyone else who wants to like modify? It's small space. Yes, exactly. Small means very small. Understand? So, uh, they are short. This external acoustic meters, no? they are short. And also, you can say that they are small chamber. I mean, they are small. And they are curved into the temporal bone. I hope you remember the temporal bone. Yes? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Virgishri, yes, show me your temporal bone. Uh, turn on your video. Can you please turn on your video? No need to uh, unmute yourself. Just show me. Birgishri? Birgishri? Okay, who will be able to show them? Uh, Aliza, am I audible? Aliza? Yes, ma'am. Uh, please turn on your video and show me your temporal bone. Okay, ma'am. Please try to a bit uh, quick. Mm -hmm. I think your network is not that good. I can't see you till now. Whose network is a bit good? Celeste, will you be able to show? Celeste? Oh, uh huh? Oh, ma'am. No, why? Why? Any reason? Any specific reason? Why? You forgot? Ma'am, in for what? Uh -huh. In for what? Uh, Balo, will you be able to show me? Balo? Why you all are taking so much time just to show the temporal bone? Haha. Uh -huh. Snee, will you be able? Okay, very good. Uh, wait. Wait, actually I'm searching you. Just wait. Uh, did you turn on? Yes, ma'am. Uh, wait, huh? wait. I can't see you. I can't see you. Oh, I saw you. Okay, just wait, huh? Snee, please turn on your video and show me your temporal bone. Ma'am, can you see me? No, I can't. Others, can you see her? No, ma'am. No, ma uh, no, ma I, I can't see. Ah, uh, I can see. Uh, show me your temporal bone. No, uh, I can't see you.
Stay, I can't see you. Hello. Hello, ma'am. I can't see you, Sni. Please turn on your video. Ha, show me, show me soon. Can you see me? Ha ha, I can see now. Just show me. No, no, it's not correct. Wait, let me show you. Can you see me? Am I visible? Yes, this one. This one is a temporal bone, not this. All right, here, just here. Is it clear? This this yeah. portion, not here. This one is here. Another bone, parietal bone. Is it clear now, Sni? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget. You can even check it, or else you can say you can even feel your temporal pulse here. It's not it. I think you have got insights for checking pulse also. So there. Don't forget, huh? Why I need to repeat so many times? Okay. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. So, you can't see? Balo? No, now it's in. Okay. Okay, so what, where were we? We were in the external acoustic meters, no? So in the external acoustic meters, you will find that they are short. They are short and they are narrow. I mean, they are small. And they are curved into the temporal bone. Means what? Means they are along with the temporal bone. You can say that. Or else skull. It means inside the skull, it will, uh, it will go into this and they are attached with the temporal bone. Understand? And what will happen here, what will you find here in the external acoustic meters? Uh, they are, I mean, the skin, I mean, the skin which is covering the external acoustic meters, no? They are like a wall is there, W A W L wall. Understand? Means this portion. So, here, what, what will you find? You will find the ceruminous glands. All right, ceruminous glands. C E R U M I N O U S ceruminous glands so this ceruminous glands what is the role of the ceruminous glands they make or else you can say they produce or else yeah they make or else they secrete what they secrete some yellow color substance which is wax earwax have you ever heard the word earwax yes ma'am huh, so the ceruminous yes. glands they mix or else you can say they secrete the yellow color uh, yellow color wax that is the this one ear wax or else you can say yellow cerumen this one c e c e r u m e n cerumen yellow color cerumen and what do they do this thing they provide i mean they helps uh, the foreign particles now like uh, to trap inside that so that it won't enter inside your ear and it won't damage your ear all right means they will trap that and later on like uh, the air wax now you will take it out it's not that you will clean it you clean your ears or not or else you just you just keep it like that huh do you clean or not yes ma'am huh. every day or yes, sometimes sometimes <laughs> only sometimes when you remember Huh? Balo? Only when you remember? No, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, uh, this ceruminous glands, understand, this ceruminous glands, they help us in making this gland, uh, sorry, in making this wax, it is yellow cerumen, that is the ear wax. And what is the role of this ear wax? What is the function? Means, they trap all the foreign particles which will enter inside your uh, i mean your ears no so that uh, it won't affect your ears 
Understand? So that it won't damage your ear. Is it clear about the external acoustic images, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Okay, next yes, is uh, tympanic membrane. This one. I hope you can see. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. So, this is the tympanic membrane. So, what happens here in the tympanic membrane? When the sound, I mean, it will obviously it will come from the external environment. It's not it. like uh, if I produce sound or else if you're listening music or anything. So the sound, the sound it will come here inside this. So what happens here when the sound waves, the waves, no? when it enters inside the ear, uh, that is in the auditory canal, it's also known as the auditory canal. It will strike or else you can say it will hit the tympanic membrane and this tympanic membrane they are also known as the ear drum this one i hope you can see ear drum e a r ear d r u m b drum huh can you see it the tympanic yes. membrane they yes, are also known as the ear drum understand and this tympanic membrane what do they do they cause vibration understand means it the uh, when the sound will like enter inside your ears now that is in the auditory canal they make a wave and hits or else you can say it strikes the tympanic membrane and it will cause vibration understand um, huh. and yes, this okay and this canal uh, this one uh, the the auditory canal they end they end at the eardrum understand means it ends here the auditory canal, I mean, uh, the place where we can, I mean, can enter, no? They ends here at the eardrum, which separates the what? Which separates the external from the middle ear. So, we are still discussing about the external ear. Understand? So, the, uh, the tympanic membrane, you can say that it is the separation in between the uh, internal and the external. Oh, sorry, not internal. I'm very sorry. It, it separates the external ear and the middle ear, the tympanic membrane. Is it clear? I'll repeat again. The tympanic membrane, what happens in the tympanic membrane? When the sound waves, which are coming from the outside world or as outside environment, what happens? It will enter inside the auditory canal, which is this. Canal. Canal means what? Canal means through which something can pass. I mean... The, the air, the sound, it can enter inside. It's not it. It means that the canal, it means that. Okay, so what happens when the sound waves will enter inside this, the tympanic membrane, it will vibrate. Understand? It will vibrate. And uh, it is also known as the eardrum, this tympanic membrane. Eardrum, D-R-U-M-B drum. I hope you know the meaning of drum. Huh? Dhol. Yeah, dhol in Hindi. I, I think we say dhol. It's not it. That's that that one. Okay. So, what happened? Uh, I mean, this is the tympanic membrane. Eh? So, uh, the tympanic membrane it is the last. I mean, it is the ending part of what? It is the ending part of the external ear. We have discussed now three, uh, three areas. External, middle, and uh, the, the last one is what? Inner. It's not it. So, this is the place uh, where the separation of external and the middle ear occurs is it clear everyone about the tympanic membrane yes, okay yes. okay now let's discuss about the middle ear okay so that uh this is the tympan okay so this is the middle ear so in the middle ear what will happen we are done with the tympanic membrane no? so here it ends till this green color can you see this green color yes ma'am yes, ma so this green color is the uh, ending of the i mean the external ear huh so we are done with the external ear so now let's come to the middle ear this portion this portion so in the middle ear what will you find in the middle the middle ear uh, or else it is also known as tympanic cavity 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 means some space is there it means that understand means some space is there okay what happens here 
in the tympanic membrane uh, here air a i r air okay air is filled in this that is in the tympanic membrane and some uh, mucosal lining cavity within the temporal bones and also you can find that some mucosa you can also find some mucosa also here in this uh, middle ear okay that yeah or else you can say tympanic cavity is it clear yes ma'am uh, so this mucosa na? so this mucosa exactly it's what mucosa it is like uh, moist i mean they are not dry is it clear even your uh, i mean even in your tongue also like uh, inside your mouth it is always uh, moisturized it's not it i mean it is not dry uh, did you get my point yes yes ma'am ah, so it's it's like almost not almost always it is uh, i mean dry uh, sorry it's moisture it means that so here it is uh, moist it is not dry this cavity understand this cavity it is uh, here mucosa is there mucosa means that understand they are moist you can say thick uh, i mean slippery some fluid is there thick slippery fluid is there it means mucosa mucosa it means that and same thing here also they lies within the uh, temporal bone so they i mean it is inside the temporal bone is it clear okay and what happens here the opening the opening of this uh, middle ear is uh, flanked laterally by the eardrum so you will also find the eardrum i mean okay so what will you find here this is the eardrum no so they are flanked laterally so what is the meaning of flank does anybody know intercept ma'am touching but what hard to explain ma'am but i know hard to explain but you know okay anyone else who wants to help anyone balo do you know don't know ma'am don't know Anyone, Jiban and all, Samson? Uh, surrounding. Surround. Who is that? Samson. Yes, surrounding. Okay. Anyone else who wants to give a try? No one. Surrounded each side, sir. Each side, yes, exactly. Means uh, flanked. Okay, flanked means located at the sides or something like that. Understand? And lateral, I've already said the meaning lateral. Lateral means corner or else side. So, same thing. So, the tympanic cavity, this one, uh, they are located at the sides. Okay, at the sides of the eardrum, this one. This is the eardrum. No? So, they are located at the sides. This one, they are located at the sides and uh medially i mean in the middle there is a bony wall there is a bony wall with two openings which are the oval window okay the oval window which is this so the oval window this one which is known as stapes or else stapes i hope you remember in bones we have discussed now mellus inca stapes do you remember it or not the three bones Huh? Or else you forgot. Do you remember? What happened? Am I not audible? Do you remember states? Or else tapes? What happened? Am I not audible? Yeah. Ah, this it reply something now. Why why you always to be quiet? Okay. So what I was saying, 
means in the opening you will find the steps all right this is the oval window they are attached with the oval window the steps no? they are attached with the oval window so this is the, the steps is is the part of the bones that you will find in the auditory ossicles or else you can see inside the ear and uh, you will also find uh, the inferior membrane the inferior membrane which covers uh, which cover the round window okay this is the this is the round window inferior inferior means down all right so this one this is the round window so these are the two things that you will find in the middle ear that is the uh, oval window which is also known as a stapes and next i mean down is the round window understand did you understand this question everyone yes ma'am okay okay so flanked means side okay uh, uh, which is uh, located at the side flanked and lateral also is the same thing corner as a side it lies okay okay next is ossicles which is this the okay so the ossicles is what the tympanic cavity that is the ear inside the ear this one the tympanic they are spanned by three smallest bone i mean they are made understand they are made up of in the tympanic membrane you will find that they are made up of uh, three smallest bones in the human human body so what are those the smallest bone that is the uh, means okay so the, what are the name of the three bones the name of the three bones are malus incus and stapes so malus they are also known as hammer h a m m e r okay next is incus it is also known as anvil a n v i l right anvil is it clear and the third is yes, okay and the third is stapes or else it is known as stirrup is it clear okay in the uh, ossicles this this portion i'll repeat again they are made up or else you can say they are extended the external uh, in the tympanic membrane no? they are extended by uh, three bones that is the smallest bones in the human body so what are those those are the, uh, the three i mean the three bones the names the name are malus which is also known as hammer h a m m e r uh, the second is incus which is also known as anvil a n v i l and the third is stapes or else it is known as stirrup is it clear and this one same thing like here inside this like the air drum and all that will be there okay so it means all that is it clear remember remember all these names huh? hammer it is also known as uh, sorry the millers it is also known as hammer in curse it is also known as anvil stapes it is also known as stirrup is it clear yes ma'am ah. yes, ma okay so now let us see about the internal ear or else the inner ear so the inner ear or else the uh, ex uh, yeah the ex internal ear it we can just say they are the last uh, they are the last part of the ear understand and the inner ear they are maze maze means what means uh, how to say uh, means network i mean some network is there it means that all right some network or else you can say the, some pathway is there like so that uh, it can carry the all the things which is occurring inside you all no? it means that so the inner ear it is a maze of bony chambers so they are made in such a way that it is it is a bit uh, what to say it is a bit confusing from the picture itself also you can just say it no? like it's not like uh, what to say it's not uh, proper it's a bit like puzzling type you can say that huh puzzling type did you get my point yes yes ma'am uh, they are a bit puzzling i mean they are not very fluent you can say that okay 
and they are made up of what they are made up of bony chambers i mean bones are there uh, bony chambers and or else you can say as osseous o double s e o u s osseous listen or else you can say labyrinth l a b uh, l a b y r i n t h okay you can also say all this also like the bony or osseous or else you can say labyrinth is there inside this and if we look closer i mean if we go deep and where do they lie in the temporal bone in the temporal bone which is behind the eye socket means at the back side at the back side of your eyes na? at the back side of your eyes they are located and this internal ear or else the inner ear they are divided into three main subdivisions all right they are made uh, they are divided into three main sub subdivisions which are the spiral spiraling p size this one can you see this spiral yes ma'am ah, so yes, ma this spiral spiral means i guess you know spiral like this it will be like this yes, from the picture itself also you can see i guess so this is a spiral huh i mean their, their shape is like spiral and they are p size P, I guess you know P, P, E, A, P. So they are uh, like that. No, they are spiral and they are P size. The size is P, and which is known as cochlea, or else you can say cochlea. This one, this portion, this part. Ah, uh, can you see this? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, so yes, this is the cochlea, or else cochlea. Also, you can say. Okay, next is the vestibule this one i hope you can see vestibule the next one okay the next is semi circular canals this one i hope you can see this one semi circular canals so i guess you know the meaning of semi semi means semi s e m i Half, yes, exactly. So they are uh, semicircular canal means they are half circular. They are not completely like circle. They are half. Okay, is it clear about the subdivisions? Yes. Okay, so that's all for ear. E A R ear. So is it clear? We are done with eyes and we are done with the ear in the sensory system. I hope it's clear. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Uh, and please try to remember the names also. Huh? I'll give you the notes for sure. Uh, yes, I'll send you in PDF as soon as the class gets over. I mean, I mean, after completing everything, I'll send you. But for now, you can just write it down in your copy. You know, like small, small points like all this. Hammer is also known as Mellus. Uh, incus is also known as anvil, stapes is also known as stirrup, all these things. All these things are like important for your exam. So I'm just saying it to you. Okay, I hope it's clear about the inner ear and the, or else you can see the internal ear. Okay, can anybody tell me uh, what is the name of the gland which makes the ear wax? Can you tell me? Shilinma, can you tell me? Hello. Am I audible to others? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you yes, tell me what is the name which makes the air wax? No? Yes, ma'am. You forgot. If you forgot, also no problem. I, I'll, I'll tell again. Huh? Canal. What canal? Ear canal. Ear canal. Can you give me some specific uh, word for that? Okay. Can you say this? Yes, ma'am. What is this written? Please read it out. 
I'm moving the arrow. Na. What is this? Let's read it down. This Eurypneus against... Ah. So what is it, the answer? Which is it? It's Eurypneus Glens. Ah, not Air Canal. Of course, it's okay, in the Air Canal, but it has got names. Na. Some specific names. It's not it. If I say, if I, if I say I'm Assam Downtown University, where it is located? If I say Assam, will, will, will that answer be completely correct? No, ma'am. Ah, so what will be the answer? Ceremonious Glen. Oh, Assam Downtown University oh. is Ceremonious Glen. <laughs> huh? Sorry, No, ma'am. So, so what will be the answer? What will be the answer? Where is Assam Downtown University? Are you where you are studying? Panikiti. Oh, it's like Assam. Guwahati Panikiti. It's not it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, same like that. Even the earwax, also the ceremonious glands, they make it. Of course, it's in the ear canal, but you should be specific with the answer. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, I hope it's clear for all. Okay, let me just ask you one more question. Pin Krau Biang, this time you have to answer. Pin Krau Biang. Very, I'll ask you a very easy question. Uh, yes, name sir. the three areas of uh, ear. I have mentioned three areas. Huh? Very easy. Do you know? Uh, <coughs> do you know or not? Just tell me that. No, ma'am. No. Parmita, do you know? Yes, ma'am. Ah, please tell. Please tell the answer. Mm -hmm. Outer ear, ah. middle ear, mm -hmm. and inner ear. Yes, very good. Have you heard, Pin Krabian? Huh? Pin Krabian? Did you hear what Parmita have said yes. just now? Okay, yes, yes. read and tell me the answer now. Just the read inner this. Ear, middle ear, and the outer ear. Repeat. Inner ear, the middle ear, and the outer ear. Okay. Now, will you forget? No, ma'am. Please don't forget. Okay, they are divided into three areas. Understand? Okay. Uh, one more question. Manas. Manas de Burma. Am I audible? But not audible. Kyoda, am I audible? Kyoda? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, Kyoda, can you tell me the another name of stapes or else stapes? Hmm? Do you know? Do you know? Just say yes or no. If not, I'll tell you. Okay, just say yes or no. I think it's a no, no reply. Okay, can you say this, Kyoda? Kyoda, am I audible? I think network is poor. Okay, Kostov, can you hear me? Kostov? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, ah, tell me. Uh, one minute. Read, read this out and tell me. I mean this, this portion, this part. Hammer is also known as, or else Melius is also known as, I already said the answer. Okay, whatever. Just tell me. Re, tell me. Just read it out. Ma'am, the hammer. Ah, it's also known as? The hammer, malleus, the anvil or incus, and the stirrup and the steps. Not and. Don't say and. Because 
the stirrup or step. You see like that. Understand? Because it has got two names. I, I means I can call in like two two names also. Did you understand? Say for example, I'll just give you one example. Hanky. You can say handkerchief also. It's not it, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so same thing. There's got two names: hanky as well as handkerchief. So same thing. This all these things also it has got two two names. So don't say and. If I say if uh, if I say the color of my handkerchief and hank hanky is if I say like that, so it it will be of different meaning. It's not it, Costa. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so this one also same thing. Don't say and. Yes, ma'am. I, I mean when you say hammer, no, don't say hammer and nailers. Don't say like that. Or you say because it has got two names. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I hope it's clear, now Everyone, today's class. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, yes, then that's all for today's class. Thank you, everyone.